This is Sick Morgan coming to you live. What's going on, guys? My name is Morgan. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today, we're continuing Heartstopper Season 3, Episode 7, called Together. Okay, I hope this is a cute episode with a title like that. Uh, before we get into it, uh, as always, if you want the full uncut video, that's available over on the Patreon. If you want to follow me on social media, you can do so here. Also on Patreon, I have Patreon exclusives. Right now I'm doing Vox Machina. I recently finished up Inside Man starring David Tennant. And I'm considering doing Doctor Who as a Patreon exclusive uh, once I'm done with Vox Machina. Also coming to the channel soon, Arcane. When it drops, I will be doing Arcane in November. Um, so stay tuned for that on the channel. And uh, right now I'm also doing DuckTales. And in the past, I've done Good Omens and Our Flag Meets Death, which are other live action shows. So yeah, apologize in advance for my voice. Uh, I haven't recorded in like a week because I've been sick for about a week. And um, it's you can still like hear it in my voice. And I'm going to try my best not to cough. Uh, I do have my tea here. I'm not a tea drinker, but I've been drinking this thing nonstop for a week trying to get this freaking thing over with. So I apologize. I can't really talk as loud as I usually do because my voice is kind of strained. Um, and if there's a lot of jump cuts, it's probably going to be a coughing fit. I've been good so far today, but just in case, I just wanted to let you guys be aware of that. Before we get into it, I just want to thank N for sending me these adorable little good omen standees. Look at Aziraphale and Crowley. They're so fucking cute. And then there's also this one. Oh, they're adorable. I love this so much. And also they sent me some Japanese candies. I haven't tried them yet, but I plan on it. I'm sure they're delicious. Uh, but and thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna add these. I have little good omen standees like right over here I'm gonna add these to my little collection right now. They're so freaking cute. I am obsessed with good omens So thank you so much for your kind gift I love these little standees and then they wrote down the names of the shops where they got them from So if any of you guys are looking for any of that stuff, that is where you can find them. Thank you so much And I love them with all my heart and I think that's all the business. So that being said, let's get into this I thought we were about to go into a musical episode. I didn't know where that was going. Oh, we're back at it with the sparks. It's crazy that they teach dance at school. There's a lot of sparks flying. They are... They're down bad. They are down bad. This is a daydream, right? They're not doing this on the field? Okay. At this point, I wouldn't put it past them. I would not put it past them. They are so down bad for each other. Because usually it is a daydream, but I'm like, the way they've been looking at each other, though, you know, I feel like that restraint's gonna leave their bodies sometime soon. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> As he is smited, smote, smitten. Oh, the little hands. Oh, adorable. I love my ballet classes, but I've got to get three buses to get there. Oh, yeah, that's... Well, I can drive you to okay. ballet if you want. Oh, anything most Saturdays anyway. That's so you sweet, Nicholas! Alright, well, maybe. Nick is the mom of the friend group. He is the mom friend, and we love him for it. We need pe more people like Nick in this world. Like, give me a Nicholas any day, please and thank you. I will cherish him like I cherish my actual golden retriever. I will cherish Nick just the same. All the head pats and hugs. <laughs> Charlie's been a lot better these days. And how's Nick doing these days? Fine. Yeah, I'm all good. I haven't really it's got nice much going on, It's nice she asks him how he's doing. Well, that's because you've been focused on helping Charlie. I've been focused on Darcy and all their stuff with their mum. Mm -hmm. Just need to remember to look after yourself, too. Very true. It's Very nothing. true. Journaling is really beneficial. <laughs> I love the dynamic these two have, how they're always going to each other and checking in on each other. I think it's just so sweet the way they develop these two characters and how they're always just, you know, they were each other's first kisses, but, you know, they can fight in each other with stuff. And I just love the way they work up this dynamic between Nick and uh, Tara. Oh, boy. Oh, not the cucumbers. Yeah. I hope they actually teach. This is my thing with sex ed, right? They usually only teach straight sex ed. They usually don't treat gay sex ed. But that is so important to treat, to treat, <laughs> to teach both forms of sex ed. Because you're not helping gay people practice safe sex. And with, you know, viruses like AIDS, 
it's important to understand safe sex. Okay, so there is no cure for HIV or AIDS, but medications can control HIV and prevent disease progression. With treatment, most people with HIV in the U.S. don't develop AIDS. Okay, but still, even with that, it's important to know. It's important to know and to have this education for people that could practice any form of sex, you know? Because in, in high school, they didn't teach us any of the gay safe sex or any of that. Um, and I understand it could be a political thing, but it really shouldn't because at the end of the day, you're saving people's lives by practicing safe sex, so. I mean, maybe you'll get some good advice. Or maybe not, no. Condoms on cucumbers. And it's not exactly rocket science, is it? I mean, how bad can it really be? <laughs> how can bad can it really be? Don't know anything. Oh, just have sex with him. I don't blame him. My, my extent of um, male gay sex comes from the downright awful smut I read <laughs> on AO3. That's where I've learned all of that. So I, I don't know, Charlie, maybe pick up AO3. It, it's taught me many things, many, many things. I'll never use those things, but... Yeah, put it on the not pointy end so it doesn't rip. Good idea. What are you learning? How to put a condom on a cucumber. He was just feeling it all night. Like, you could tell she wanted it and they got to a point. I don't know why, not really. <laughs> Harry, I don't want to hear about your sex life, my guy. Oh! Gay! <laughs> Maybe we get things wrong, you know, but... You know, it's not some perfect, effortless thing. Yeah. You learn together, though! You know, and... and you talk about boundaries, and what's safe, and what you don't like. I'm so glad he has his friends he can confide and in last and cheer him up. Remember, folks. Chlamydia equals I bad. How was Elle's interview? She didn't really mention it in the group chat. Oh, yeah, it was... Oh, um... they don't know. I think they decided not to air it, actually. Good! Good! I hope lawyers got involved! Trans woman to be banned from female hospital wards. Who even asked for this? My thoughts exactly, Clara! Government officials declare, say no to gender ideology in schools. Oh my god. This shit pisses me off. Truly. It pisses me off so much. If you're pushing gender norms of, like, girls should wear pink and boys should wear blue and girls play with dolls and boys play with cars, but you, you don't want to talk about people that don't want to identify themselves as the sex they were assigned at birth, maybe we shouldn't be talking about any gendered things. Maybe we should just keep everything, you know, gender neutral. It's the hypocrisy. It's the same thing with, like, them not wanting to talk about being gay in school. Like, you're always reading stories about Romeo and Juliet and all these, you know, hetero couples. Oh, if you're allowed to read about hetero couples, why aren't you allowed to read about gay couples? Oh, because we don't want the gay couples to turn people gay. I watch nothing but hetero couples my entire life. I watched nothing but straight couples my entire life growing up. That did not change the fact that I'm not attracted to men. It's such a load of bullshit. I, I'm sorry to be on my soapbox, but this is my, me talking from personal experience here, and this is why it annoys me, because it's just fear-mongering and lies. I don't think I like it anymore. Why not? I'm sorry about the interview. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Poor Elle, man. Oh, I just want to hug her. The fact that she loved this piece she was doing on herself, but now she can't even enjoy it because of the things that host said. Again, like, probably triggering up her, her gender dysphoria. It's awful. Oh, okay. Is this why we were eager to ba get back to Nick's house? Oh, you... Don't come in! Fuck off! Sorry. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> it's alright. I'm just glad it wasn't your mom. <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't your mom. I'm so upset Olivia Coleman is not in this season. I love Olivia Coleman. Like, I only know her from Heartstopper, but just seeing her face is like a warm hug. Like, you could just tell this woman from her face is so sweet. Oh, and I heard she was worked with David Tennant in the past, so I'm like, now I like her even more. <laughs> Why is David still here? Did is it Christmas over? Why is he still here? Doesn't he have university to go to? Yeah, that, that's a mood killer right there, just seeing David. Aww. I mean, neither of you know what you're doing. You can learn together. Aww. <laughs> the reassurance, they're so cute. Aww, you guys, cringe! <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. I think this is the best drawing I've done so far. 
I was just like disassociating. Oh, She's no not bird. even paying attention. Oh, that's cute. Tao Su, artist of goldfish. <laughs> artist of goldfish. Can I sleep over tonight? You know how my mom is about it. But Elle doesn't want to be alone. That's so sad. Is there anything I could do to make you feel better? He's so nice. He's so understanding. Decided I'm going to look after myself and do what I want. Good. As you should. And that includes doing me. <sighs> Bold, Darcy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this episode's putting my ace panic in full view. Because I could read about it. Like, I'm fine reading about it. But for some reason, watching it is when it makes me uncomfortable. So I'm just like, you know. Can you look at that one? Yeah? You look like perfect. Now everyone knows how much I love you. I heard Nick Nelson. Yeah, I know. It's year 11's last day. Is everyone writing on their shirts? Guess what? That's still one. It's the last day? Do you get it? That was so fast. Charlie, can I have a quick word before you go? I love you, Charlie Isaac. You're staying at Truem for sixth form, right? Yeah. Good. I wanted to give you this. Campaigning starts in the autumn. I think you should apply. Oh. Really? Why? Well, you're smart, you're a strong person. Agreed. And I think you could do a lot of good for the kids at this school. Absolutely agreed. Just something to think about over the summer. He's such a good person. Charlie, He'd be such a good person for that. There are a lot of um, younger students who would find it inspiring to see you as head boy. Yes! That's all. Mr. Farouk! I'll think about it. I love Mr. Farouk so much and Mr. Ajay. Oh, he just- Oh! <laughs> I was not- I was not prepared to see a little Mr. Farouk. Oh, my- <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I just need to- I need to take a moment? <laughs> I thought I was gonna make it through this episode without crying. I was like, oh, everything seems pretty okay right now. You know, the L stuff's upsetting me, but I didn't feel tears coming to my eyes. And that little shot of Mr. Farouk and being like, younger people need you. And talking about how he himself needed somebody because we knew how much he struggled from, um, you know, that talk he added with Mr. J in season two. But it's so true. Like, to be in high school, especially a all boys school, and to be gay cannot be easy. Sometimes people need a role model of someone that they can relate to and have understand their issues to feel comfortable in their bodies. Like, I've had multiple people reach out to me and thank me for, you know, just being myself on the online. Um, and having them say, like, you know, watching your videos helped me realize, you know, I was gay or I was, you know, or I was... A lesbian or I was non-binary or I was trans they helped me come to terms with it or help me accept myself and like that means so much when you know people view you as that way I think it'd be great for Charlie's uh confidence and to help younger LGBT youths be become comfortable with themselves and love themselves because he did go on this whole journey and while he's still struggling it's Definitely something he's got knowledge about. He helped, you know, Tara through the panic attack that she was having at the sleepover in the last episode. Oh, that just broke my heart seeing a little Mr. Farouk and then Mr. Ajay comforting him. Oh, these two are so good for each other. I love them. Go for lunch. Yeah. The little smile. You're so fucking cute, Mr. Farouk. I can't. He gives me cuteness aggression. She posted it on Instagram. Your followers will love it. The self-doubt this interviewer gave her! We know you've been really down since that interview. It's not like this radio woman was a raging bigot or anything. She probably thinks of herself as an ally. Probably. But I was there to talk about my art. Yep. Have you spoken to anyone about it? Tao, maybe? He would fight the world for me. But he just can't properly understand. A therapist is good. We're here. Or them! They're part of the um, LGBT community and they are they fall under the trans umbrella. Felix is non-binary, which falls under the trans umbrella. And Naomi is trans. Like, they'll understand. And even if, you know, both of them can't help, I would recommend therapy because that was pretty traumatic that that shit that fucking happened to you. Oh. The peaking. Oh my God. 
feel like I'm in the middle of like a 100,000 word slow burn. Will they, won't they, will they, won't they? <laughs> Now I have a question for people that go to school in the UK. Is this a tradition at the last day of school where instead of like signing a yearbook, you guys sign each other's shirts or something? I've also noticed Charlie's the only one with his shirt signed. I don't know if this is like a tradition that I'm just not aware of. You're trying to peek. No. It's allowed. It's We're allowed. In We're in love. He threw it right back in his face. <laughs> I love them. Oh my goodness, you two. Maybe uh, one night you could stay around mine. Just us. Good luck convincing his mom of that. Good luck getting mom to agree to a boyfriend sleeper. Yeah. You're probably gonna have to tell her it's her in a good mood. over Tao's house that or something. Doesn't happen very often. There's not really much point in her banning sleepovers. If you and Nick want to have sex, then you'll have sex. You don't need yeah. a sleepover to do that. Okay, very true. My advice is to sneak out. My advice is that a sleepover is unnecessary for the activity in question. That is true. Good luck. That is true. I hope you do get to have your sex sleepover. <laughs> I love Michael, dude! <laughs> Michael, can you stop talking about my brother having sex? Please? <laughs> I love him. Yeah, see how happy she was beforehand? And then those awful things were said to her, and now it bothers the fuck out of her. And understandably so, but it upsets me. Oh. There was one time that we, uh... What? I mean, school is an option. You had sex at school? <laughs> yeah, it was It was only once. <laughs> it oh was a my really god. Bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think we're quite there yet. No. And also, we have a, a history of getting walked in on. Yeah, yeah. that is true. You School's the worst place to do it. Yeah, Charlie's been through a lot. I love that he's been so patient with Charlie, too, and like on this journey with Charlie, waiting till Charlie's ready. I understand that's why they had to wait so long, but. You know, that's what Charlie needed, especially after having Ben. The way he, he treated him, the way he treated him, he fucking traumatized freaking Charlie with freaking assaulting him and just being a fucking nightmare. I'm glad that they've waited until they're both comfortable, though. That's so important. I feel weird talking about it because, you know, <laughs> this is why it's weird for me to, to watch a, a teen show because I, I have to talk about this stuff and I'm like, talking about the gay stuff. I, I'm, all, I'm all for talking about the, the gay stuff. It's talking about the intimate moments. I'm like... You know, when it's when it's adult demons, I don't mind it as much. But when, when it's teenagers, I'm like, being an adult, it just, it just seems weird to talk about it, you know? You don't have to be the strong one all the time. Oh, I learned that the hard way. True, very true. Why do you have to be so smart? <laughs> it is her thing. Do you have any advice about that kind of stuff? Oh, Nick. I'm not completely really the person to ask about sex between guys. Yeah, yeah, completely different playing field. Different equipment for that sport. You mm. look so happy when you're dancing. You're so ridiculous. Well, it's nothing compared to what you've done for me this year. Aww. Let me stay at your house, helping me move into my grands, taking me clothes shopping, convincing me to cut my hair when I kept backing out. <laughs> Those are like very low bar things to us. But I, no one else has ever shown them to them. I just don't think I would have had the courage to explore being non-binary if it weren't for you. Oh. <laughs> Probably would have got around to it eventually, but you made it feel so easy. I love that them having the supportive environments will help them come to terms with their gender identity and what makes them comfortable. I love that. That's all you need is a supportive network that's gonna love you regardless. It's not a huge deal. Aww. Unless you want it to be. It's There's still you. them. Yes. It's just me. It's just you. It's just me and you. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that they're doing this together. It seems like they're bonding. Oh. Mm -hmm. Does his dad know? Me and Nick were wondering if I could stay around his one night. Uh, yes, at some point. Oh. We were thinking soon. You have your GCSE exams coming up, and this is quite a big step. And I'm mentally ill, so I can't. No, no. And I'm mentally ill. No. So you're always thinking. I think I'm some child who can't make my own decisions. Okay, Charlie, that's not fair. You're only 16 and you've been very ill. Oh, Nick, seriously. What are you so worried about? We all love Nick. Okay, Tori, I'm not... You know what? Let's just... We'll talk about this once your exams are over, Charlie. I'm not a child. If I want to see my boyfriend, then I will. You can't stop me. This is something you guys need to talk about because this has been an ongoing issue for a long time. 
I have mixed feelings. I, I really do. I know his mom is very protective of him and, you know, what he's gone through recently, she's probably worried. And, you know, technically he is only 16, but, you know, teens are gonna have sex. That's the thing. Like, teens are gonna have sex regardless, whether she likes it or not. As long as she can, like, make sure they're being safe and talk about it with him and make sure, like, obviously it's an uncomfortable thing to talk about, but, uh, but they've already breached hard things to talk about with Charlie's eating disorder. So, I don't know. It's just it's just like a rough subject altogether. One movie night. <sighs> I hope I hope this works out well because if it doesn't work out well and he really tried and this makes things worse for L, I'm probably going to cry. Tao, you didn't know how to do all this. Oh, I do. It's a special one tonight. So, before we begin, I want to say something. I know you've been really down lately and uninspired about your art. It made me think about when Charlie was really ill and I made him that little video. It was the first time I felt like I could create something that put joy into the world. Oh. I guess I never really thought of myself as a creative person before that. But I love He should be a movie maker. To cheer up the people or I know. a director. I can't even see. This is so cute. Cuz she also, someone told me Isaac was dressed up as a Xerophel. I was- I had that thought. I'm like, he kind of looks like a Xerophel, but he was missing the little, like, bow tie. Was he supposed to be a Xerophel? I don't know. Like, I can see it, but I'm still not sure. I'm sorry. I- I- I, I had to comment on that, though. Oh! Oh, girl, you're gonna make me cry. Stop it! I guess that's how I see you. Oh, that was so sweet. It was like the whole world is against me. You always talk to me about it. I'm just scared you won't get it. But I'll try. I'll always try. Oh. They're so cute. Oh, okay, I gotta clear the tears from my eyes. Where did my... Oh my god, that was adorable. Absolutely adorable. Well done, Tao. Well done. It's so nice, though, that he did that and that he's like, you can confide in me. Even if I don't get it, I'll, I'll try my best. And he seems willing to understand if he gets something wrong. So I'm just glad she has him as another form of support, even though she has Felix and Naomi. Is he afraid of spending less time with Charlie? Is that why he keeps putting it off? Or he's just worried about Charlie? You need a distraction. Yeah. Nick, please don't leave me behind. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, suspicion's confirmed. You don't think I'm fragile, do you? No, no. Charlie, you're like the strongest person I've ever met. Very true. You know exactly who you are. And... And what you want. He's inspirational. I, th I think I'm more fragile than you are. <laughs> oh. Why? You give me so much confidence. But when you're not around, I, um, I, I don't know, I guess I feel a bit lost. Oh. It's, it's nothing. It's no. Nothing. What do you mean? I can't talk to anyone else like I talk to you. Oh. I'm going to cry. God damn it. When I realized I was bi, I feel like I woke up. Because I was repressing so much of myself before then. You know, oh, not just my God. sexuality, but my thoughts and feelings. My personality. I still hide behind that mask sometimes. Oh, dick. Oh, okay, I gotta go. Tears out of control again. God damn it. We've never really heard this type of stuff from Nick before where he's like, I only feel comfortable around you. I've, re I've been repressing a lot of myself around other people. And it's so sad that he has to, he feels the need to repress himself from everyone except Charlie. Like, I'm glad he trusts Charlie enough, obviously. But it's sad that he has to repress himself around others. Like, I get it. I Like, I do get it. I'm, I'm in a similar boat with stuff where, like, I repress some things from... People depending on who I'm around and stuff like that. And just to have someone that you don't have to put up walls with. I can totally understand him. It just it just sucks having to do that though. Cause like you're always afraid like people won't understand or I feel so bad for these kids, man. Like, God, they're just kids. 
and they're going through so much. The little forehead rest. You're allowed to be a mess sometimes. Oh, I'm a mess now, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're both a bit of a mess. Hmm. We're messing together. You came here. Yeah. We're upset, and I made it all about me. Oh, shut up. Yeah, but I think. Nick. Nick, you didn't make it all about you. You're allowed to talk about your issues. Is anyone else home? Okay, this is happening this episode, I guess. They're so awkward and cute, though. I gotta give it to them. This is literally the only thing I've been able to think about. Mmm. Ugh, Colty! Is this okay? Mmm. Talking about their boundaries and leaving his shirt on. The pictures are so freaking cute. Okay, okay, I'm glad- I'm glad they went that way without- because I- I was afraid they were gonna get more into it and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna react. I'm just sitting here awkwardly, like, smiling because it's cute, but I'm also like- <laughs> They handled that very well. Okay, I didn't get uncomfortable with that. that thank you. <laughs> That's so cute, though, that they decided to, like, leave his shirt on and to not, you know, for Nick not to push his boundaries and to just, you know- Obviously, Nick would never push boundaries, but to, like, make sure Charlie was comfortable and they found a way around, you know, Charlie's issues with- you know, taking his shirt off and his scars. So I'm glad they were able to find a way around that. And it was just a very cute episode. We get that bit where Nick opens up about how he's not, he doesn't feel strong compared to Charlie because he's always hiding himself. And Charlie's just so himself unapologetically, even though he feels bad for it a lot of the time because he's got some, you know, while he's a confident person, sometimes he feels like a burden kind of thing, um, even though he shouldn't. But I thought that was a really cute episode. It was also cute with Tao sharing up L. And I think she's, you know, the, handling the aftermath fairly well because being put on the spot like that can really mess a person up. And I'm just glad um, she seems to be recovering from it and she's going to talk to Tao about it and to trust him with the information. And then we also get that bit with Darcy uh, finally feeling comfortable coming out as non-binary officially to Tara and then Tara feeling better about, you know, not being stressed out about school and putting herself first, which is very important. Um, and yeah, it was just a very cute episode, very wholesome. Um, some of the wholesome bits got too wholesome for me, and that's when the tears started. I don't know what the next episode will entail, necessarily. Maybe the first boy business, I think that's what it was called, right? For next year. But we'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want the full uncut video, it's about, uh, I would say 53 minutes at this point, because I had a pause halfway through because I had to make a phone call. Um, so it's available over on the Patreon, along with all the other things early and in full length um i want to thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below and as always i will see you guys in the next video